very special moment in Houston for the champ, Eli Tomac, finally receiving his Monster Energy Supercross title ring in front of his family and the fans. Really special moment, and we all, again, congratulate Eli Tomac, of course, who won the most recent race on Tuesday night. Ken Roxon had been looking in good form. He was ready to win on Saturday night. Uh, ever since I seen him take the track earlier today, he just looked like he was on rails. Roxon got a good start, not quite as good as Cooper Webb. Would that be a scene of things to come? It would. This is what we've been wanting to see, and this seemed like and Roxon wasn't going to be denied. I mean, everybody else kind of looks dodgy, but... Check this out for Marvin Muscan. Got stuck behind Vince Friese on this incredibly steep wall jump and it sent the Frenchman backwards, much to his chagrin, shaking his head. He was frustrated. He had a rough go at it, even in his heat race, but this was a pass for the lead. Ken was following the two of Cooper Webb, and I can't believe that he ended up actually executing it right there because he went so low in the corner before. Eli Tomac, who did not get the best start, he had to work hard through the sand section, working here on Jason Anderson, and like Eli Tomac does, he just effectively checks them off as the race grows long. He does, and he even said it himself, it's gonna be really, really hard to come up through the pack this season because there is so much depth in the field and guys have elevated their speed. Disposing of Malcolm Stewart there. There were battles all through the field. Justin Barsha really made a good comeback too, a lot like Eli Tomac. Oh, that was a cross up right across Malcolm Stewart's front wheel and then, however, yeah, he goes down in that sand and he was really riding fast, making up a lot of time on the leaders. He was headed for the podium, was the gas gas man. Now, Tomac and Barsha would put on quite the arm wrestle. Yeah, these guys are going back and forth and just like I said, another incredible ride. 51 of Justin Barsha not making it easy on himself, but this was, I can't believe what I saw here. Dean Wilson, for sure, changed the outcome of this race. He should have gotten out of the way. There was no one really in front of him for position. And this isn't uh, going to sit well with Ken Roxon, as it shouldn't. But that man right there was there. He never gave up. That's where Cooper Webb pounced on the final lap, almost home, and was able to keep Ken Roxon at bay for a somewhat of a surprise win. Roxon was furious with Wilson, and he couldn't get there. The 2019 champ, Cooper Webb, brings up his first win of the new season, and Roxon showing his displeasure to Dean Wilson. Look at, he's like, I had a, a three quarters of a lap, but he'll have another chance next week in Indy. And then good sportsmanship with Cooper Webb, and he was explaining, I was screaming at Wilson, but he didn't move. And there's the podium. Webb, Roxon, and Cian Cirillo. Three different winners in three rounds.